Greetings, my friends. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to thank all of my channel members for supporting me in this endeavor to save pop culture. And if you are not subscribed, please consider supporting this channel. We need you. Thank you. My friends, Bob Iger has publicly admitted that Disney movies suck. Oh, he certainly couched it in softball Hollywood speak, doing his best to obscure the confession with positive language and hearty helpings of word salad. But the gist of what he said is, Disney has screwed the pooch, and changes are coming. I'll get to exactly what he said in just a minute. It's a rather remarkable admission, given that Hollywood never wants to admit its many failings. But there can be little doubt, folks, Disney is feeling the heat now with the spectacular flaming box office wreckage of the Marvels, the bombing of Wish, and the reshoots of Captain American Falcon, New World Order, and things have gotten so damn bad, so publicly humiliating at the box office, that even Bob Iger knows something has to be done. Well, my friends, today I bring you a rumor fresh from my amazing Hollywood spies that one of the changes looming in the near future is a pink slip for Kevin Feige, who may have finally gone too far down Red Ink Row in the county of Fail in the land of Bomb. I will share this rumor with you and its possible ramifications in just a moment, but before I do, I want to frame this discussion with an analysis of just how desperate Disney has become in order to assess the plausibility of this particular rumor. Hey, hey, ho, ho, it's time for K Feige to go. If not now, after dropping what may be the biggest cinematic bomb in history, or certainly the worst bomb in MCU history, then when? Hollywood doesn't do accountability very well at all, but Hollywood does have the finely attuned survival instincts of a rat. And one thing Hollywood does not do is go down with the sinking ship. ESG loans will only get you so far, and even with that black rock security blanket wrapped around them, once Disney feels the waves lapping at their ankles, they're going to start moving to the lifeboats. <laughs> And just this week, we saw Bob Iger strapping on the life vest. Iger held a huge town hall for Disney employees yesterday, and in a CNBC article titled, Disney CEO Bob Iger tells employees he wants to start building again in town hall, they write, quote, Joined on stage by Disney executives Josh Diamaro, Jimmy Pitaro, Dana Walden, and Alan Bergman, Iger said his three priorities for building in 2024 were expanding theme parks, developing a full ESPN streaming service, and improving the studio business." Unquote. Now, the key confession in this town meeting fell under the heading, Improving the Studio Business. And here's what Iger confessed, quote, In assessing some of our performance recently, one of the reasons I believe it's fallen off a bit is that we were making too much. I think when it comes to creativity, quality is crucial, of course, and quantity in many ways can destroy quality, unquote. In other words, Iger is saying there are a lot of Disney projects, and they suck. <laughs> Pretty much. It's couched in flowery language. It says performance has fallen off a bit, when really he means performance has fallen off a cliff. But what can you expect from a town meeting? That's as close as Iger can possibly come to admitting, hey, we fucked up. But do you seriously imagine, even in Hollywood where people regularly fail upwards, that this level of failure will go completely unaddressed? And that brings us to the latest rumor about Kevin Feige. At this point, I must state that the information I'm about to share with you was provided to me by sources claiming knowledge of the situation, but since I cannot personally confirm any of this information, I am presenting it solely as unverified rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. So earlier today, I received the following update from my Hollywood spies, quote, There's so much coming in, and I am two or three reports behind. We are struggling to keep up. That being said, you are going to start hearing that Kevin Feige is considering leaving Marvel. This is a cover story. According to two sources so far, 
Disney is considering not renewing Kevin's contract, which is coming up in the next year. Saying that Kevin is making the decision to leave is a way for him to save face, and both sources claim Apple has their eyes on Kevin. The source's story is, Disney has given Kevin till his contract expires to turn Marvel around. We have a bit more information, but we want to try and verify it." Unquote. While this is a rumor, folks, it seems not only plausible, but inevitable given the recent catastrophic failures in the MCU. Case in point, the Marvels. Folks, Brie Larson's Marvel Swan Song is the biggest failure yet for the MCU. The drop-off from week to week has been nothing short of catastrophic, and it once again demonstrates that audiences will not be bullied or gaslighted into watching something they have zero interest in, regardless of how much woke virtue signaling it contains. How badly is it doing, you ask? According to an article on Collider titled, the Marvels continues to swing low at the global box office, they lay out the latest damning figures. Quote, The woes for the Marvels continued this weekend at the global box office as it struggles to reach $200 million worldwide. Continue. The latest Marvel Cinematic Universe entry deserves more than the ignominy placed upon it by the negative response from movie-going audience. <laughs> but sadly, reflects a fatigue with superhero films. Bullshit. The simple fact of the matter is, Brie Larson sucks, The Marvels sucks, it was boring, it was garbage, it was confusing, it was lackluster, and that is why it failed. But they're trying to say, sadly, it reflects a fatigue with superhero films, Marvel movies, and even a change in consumer habits. That's right. Consumers no longer like suck, I guess. I don't know what that means. Anyway, on a global scale, the Marvels has accumulated an estimated $187.1 million by the conclusion of its third weekend, with $76.9 million from the domestic box office and $110.2 million from international markets. Internationally, the film experienced a minus 60% hold in its third weekend, which means basically a 60% drop for those of you who don't speak bullshit, securing, get this folks, securing $7.9 million in revenue. Ouch! Ouch! There's a chance the movie will fail to even crack the $100 million domestic mark, which seemed unthinkable even two years ago. The production cost of the Marvels reportedly exceeded $250 million. To cover its expenses, the film needs to make $700 million worldwide, a goal which simply is not going to be met based on the combination of its underwhelming performance and mixed reviews." Unquote. Of course you know, with all the reshoots trying to make the Marvels suck just a little bit less. The budget was almost certainly much more than $250 million. Whatever Disney publicly admits to, in terms of budget expenditures, I think you can safely assume it's worse. But even at the publicly admitted budget, the Marvels ain't gonna get to $700 million, bringing in $7.9 million a week. And I'm sure this week, the drop-off will be even worse, dude. Kevin Feige is kinda screwed if this rumor is true, and it should be true. Correct, Harvey Cthulhu. And if an eldritch god floating in a jar wearing a fez knows it, so does Bob Iger with his army of accountants and research specialists. The surprise here is not that Kevin Feige's job is rumored to be on the line, but rather that it took so fucking long. And yet, the fuck-ups keep mounting. The latest so-called Captain America movie, starring the Falcon as Captain America, is undergoing massive reshoots reportedly in an effort to desuckify it, to filter the shit out of it and make it stink just a little bit less. I will be releasing some information on Captain Falcon smuggled out from behind the magic curtain by my Bothan spies very soon, but this latest expensive failure begs the question, why do so damn many Marvel movies have massive reshoots? The answer seems to be, because Kevin Feige evidently is not very good at doing his job. Like Kathleen Kennedy, 
Feige doesn't seem to understand that his job as a producer is to bring a movie in on schedule and on budget, and that means starting out with a script that doesn't suck the peanuts out of elephant shit. But Feige seemingly cannot manage that. He just can't, based on the evidence of all the reshoots happening on his watch. And that's why you get endlessly ballooning budgets. Because of Marvel's utter inability to nail down a good script in the pre-production stage, as competent producers have done in Hollywood since the 1930s. When you have a script locked down, before you begin shooting, and it's executed by a competent writer, the only reason for reshoots is if an actor dies or is fired before shooting concludes, if something goes wrong with the footage, if there's some kind of legal problem that no one could anticipate ahead of time, in short, force majeure acts of God that disrupt your well-made plans. And yet, Kevin Feige's plans are obviously not very well made at all, because Marvel is constantly having to go back to the drawing board after principal photography and spend vastly more money trying to fix the thing they fucked up in the first place. They had massive reshoots with the Marvels, now they're doing it again with Captain Falcon New World Order, and apparently according to this rumor, Iger realizes that even Disney, the place where quality goes to die, can't continue on this way. I'm guessing the spectacular failure and flame out of the Marvels, the underperformance of Little Mermaid and Elemental, the looming failure of Wish, the bombing of Indy 5, have all finally gotten to Iger. But is Iger going to take the blame and put his head on ye old chopping block? Hell no. Not while there's a Kevin Feige to help take the blame. While this is only a rumor, folks, if it's true, there seems to be very little hope for Kevin Feige. Yeah, he allegedly has until his contract expires to turn things around, but it seems unlikely he has much of a chance to do so. Reportedly, the only MCU movie coming out next year is Deadpool 3, which will surely do very well given the cast and the love of that particular franchise. So the question is, will Feige be able to save his skin by claiming credit for the success of Deadpool 3, given that Ryan Reynolds is clearly the guiding force behind it? Stranger things have happened in Hollywood, and so I guess only time will tell. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 